The project began over 10 years ago. Dr. Christopher McMaster and his team used a computer-aided method to design a group of antibiotics to target ACPS, an enzyme present in all major multidrug-resistant bacteria. McMaster says these antibiotics address a severe threat to human health. There's a lot of multidrug resistance bacteria out there that kill people, 5 million a year. So what we'd like to do is have a new antibiotic sort of sitting on the shelf, and it's kind of break glass and use in case of emergency type of antibiotic. One of the first applications of the drug is treating infections, like diabetic foot ulcers. So if we can get to the infections early, prevent them from progressing to the point where somebody needs an amputation or unfortunately ends up dying, you can save a lot of lives. He says it's effective in testing environments and the next step is to ensure it's safe for people. Then clinical trials will begin. So we're in the process of trying to convince folks that, hey, this is worthwhile. We've de-risked everything to a point where we can't do anything more on the, you know, does it work side. DeNovaMed's chief business officer says the project needs roughly $8 million to get to clinicals. While investors like pharmaceutical companies usually get involved much later in the project's life, he's optimistic they'll receive funding sooner. Typically, they like to come in later, but if you've got a, something that's um, an absolute world beater, and we think we have, then um, there, there is a possibility of bringing them in at the stage that we are at now. Ruttenshaw says the bacteria they're targeting is causing a health crisis, and that crisis persists because bacteria have started building an immunity to modern antibiotics. Innovation is what makes their antibiotics stand out. Uh, there's been maybe one, maximum two, absolutely brand new antibiotics um, approved in the last little while. So we have that. I mean, we've got an absolutely first-in-class product. Jake Webb, Global News, Halifax.